is San Diego really primed to get an MLS team? And Alex, if we are, you know, you had the Galaxy in L.A., then you got mm -hmm. LAFC, and LAFC, like, took over the Galaxy. Like, I don't know what LAFC did other than getting a whole bunch of celebrities to be, like, part owners of the team, but the fan base of LAFC, that's where the real fans are, I think. They got my people. They are in downtown L.A., and they marketed to downtown L.A. They got a bunch of Mexican fans. They uh, they did a really good job of getting the, the Latino community involved, the Hispanic community involved. Uh, the LAFC, they really went in there, did their research, and marketed amazingly. I love it. I would still say the Galaxy, though, they do have a large fan base. Like, I'm not, I'm not like when they, when they score, I went to LAFC Galaxy in, in, uh, what's it called now? Dignity Health, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yep. And Galaxy fans showed out, dude. Like, I, it, it was packed, it was sold out. So they did a good job of taking some fans, but the Galaxy still got their own. You want to know the, uh, somewhat, ironic part of this news story breaking that San Diego is close to getting an MLS team. Now I have a lunch scheduled this afternoon with Landon Donovan. Oh, just completely had nothing oh. to do with this story at all. It wasn't like I called mm, Landon. Name drop. Why well, bring it up then? Oh, dude, dude, total name drop. Why well, bring it up total then if it has name. nothing to do with nothing? Huh? No, no. What I'm huh? saying to you is, is that the lunch was scheduled before this news. Is this an so, investment situation we got going? Um, I don't know what the situation is, to be honest with you. Okay. I just know we're going to a really fancy uh, sushi place and we're going to probably eat a ton of food. That's all who's, I know. Who's paying? Um, is he calling that LAFC Austin game? Is Landon calling it? Yeah, he's been he's been doing play, uh, analyst work for Fox Sports. I don't know if he is, but I do know that he's getting ready to go to the World Cup. And So, um, so he's paying? No, no, I don't think so. I think that... Who invited um, who? Okay, so um, many. This is how we get distracted. Yeah, this is exactly. how we don't this go. Is bang, how we, bang, this bang, is bang. how we don't get. Well, into listen, other listen. No, yeah. these are real conversations people have. Okay, it would, if the 19 most important person in San Diego goes to lunch or or whatever brunch with Landon Donovan and uh, a U.S. global icon when it comes to soccer, who pays? This is a real uh, well, question. Well, as Juliana just pointed out in the uh, YouTube live chat, that is a lunch date name drop. Make no mistake, oh, Juliana. Yeah. You know it is. Oh, yeah. You know it is, sister. So um, years ago, I uh, had a friend of mine who really wanted to um, be an investor in what in the Major League Soccer team that was being discussed years ago. Mm -hmm. um, so I introduced this friend of mine to Landon because Landon was obviously like a really big, important part of that, that push back then. Mm-hmm. These two guys hit it off together, then literally went on several international trips together because they were trying to buy a pro club in parts of Europe. Never really materialized. Landon becomes the manager of the San Diego USL team, and the same friend of mine wound up investing pff, monster chunk of money in the USL team because the expectation was that the USL team would graduate to become the MLS team. I don't, this is why, again, this lunch was set up long before this story broke. My questions for Landon today are going to be, if Saquon and this Egyptian billionaire are working directly with MLS, is anybody working with the local USL team because of Landon's name and fame? Is there not a partnership or a relationship getting ready to happen here? Because again, back to the beginning, the guy who invested the money in the USL team thought, well, you know what? When we become an MLS team, that investment's going to be worth 20 times what I put in. So I wonder if that is happening. Because let me ask a quick question. If there's an MLS team in San Diego, do you have to have a USL team? And can the USL team survive? A lot of times they don't. I think the only one right now that does is Charlotte. Charlotte is the new expansion team. And I think their USL team is the only one that is coexisting. A lot of times they just phase out. A lot of times they get absorbed or they get moved up. Cincinnati got moved up. Sometimes they get absorbed in like other places. So uh, it, there was quotes from the loyal owner, you know, saying like, we are, we have done our job to be part of this community and we are excited about our future. What does that mean? I have no idea. Yeah. I mean, should the MLS group absorb, buy, partner with, I don't know. But what I do know is this, that if you've got Landon Donovan, one of the biggest stars in the history of U.S. soccer, and he lives in San Diego, and he coaches, manages the USL team, 
you should probably want to work with him because I just get the sense. And again, I haven't seen Landon or spoken to him in a little while, but I get the sense from him that either broadcasting or moving up to manage a, an MLS team is kind of more what he's thinking about. And that's just, that's pre-lunch guess. So I'll report back on Monday for every yeah, Ask him if he's ever going to uh, have any interest in being the U.S. coach. That's okay. where I think he's headed. 